We're back, and I did not see who won that last game. We don't know officially what the score is. We've just been chatting with Marge, and we're, we've understood that she's got the brackets done. We'll be posting the brackets immediately following this match for you. Sorry, guys, that we had to leave you, so don't, don't get upset with us. Hang in there. We just had to crash a little bit, and we had to get everything reset. We might have to uh, get Marge to let us know whether it's 9-5 or 8-6. And Chris, well, you know, they're keeping score with coins. That's right. And I see somebody as at 5 still. So it must be 9-5. to five. I'm predicting that it's about soon to be 10-5, to five too, as bad yeah. as the shot that that was. Now, the 2 seven's a little bit funky. See if he can get down side, here. But he might hook himself right there. He's all right. No, he did. It's That's, not perfect. <laughs> but he's got to get to the three now, so. Soft, short strokes. See if he shortens up his stroke. See, I would play a safety from there. He got a bad roll so, there. I'd have played the safety. Just yeah. because I didn't like the idea of coming back to the three. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I hear you, pool player mama. You you hated us leaving worse than the cold chicken? <laughs> <laughs> we promise not to leave you. <laughs> we might be gone for a minute or two, but we'll be back. We're not saying goodbye. We're just saying until next time. There you go. Mike got all lined there. It should have been putting him on the hill, but this is going to put Chris right back into the game. So, Yes, folks, we did not mean to put you on life tilt when we went off there for a second. Yeah, but, uh, that's you right. Know. <laughs> <laughs> Do not send us any therapy bills. <laughs> oh, you, no, 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 no. <laughs> it wouldn't work because I'm not going to pay. <laughs> All right, nine to six. We're st still in the game because anything can happen. This is getting interesting. Nine ball, anything can happen. I can tell you. Well, we have a link to the brackets, uh, Eastern NC. We're uh, right at the top of the uh, chat box there. You can see it's inside pool mag forward slash tournament underscore brackets forward slash fast eddies gbt nine ball dot pdf so go ahead and copy that link from the top and you'll be able to get all the brackets as we get ready for game 16 here 17 we're not sure 16 jameson how long uh marge is planning on going i don't know if this is gonna be i think this is it fort pitt uh, Shannon and Marge have kind of, ooh, they've got that looking like they're not doing yeah. anything more this, tonight. This must be the last round then right here. So enjoy it. Between the eight and the nine ball. Well, the three, let's take a look. He's saying that it goes by. He's He's got a plan, folks. Look at this. Chris he is wants doing good this time. He actually did exactly what you were saying. Mm -hmm. Little plan. One, two. Worked out. Worked out good. I'd say Chris is out. Now see how, how close that ball was to perfect? Yep. That's because he sat and he visualized it. He programmed his mind how fast everything was going to look and be and feel. And that's why that ball turned out the way it did. Now he didn't do it on this one, and now he's totally out of line because he needed to be on the other side of this five ball. Yes, he did. Now he's going to try and stroke himself out of danger. Oh, wow. And... Guess what? Wow. But Do you think it's this. a mere coincidence? Look at this. Well, yeah. Right. Not. Coincidence or not, takes his time and plays a great shot. Doesn't take his time and plays a horrible shot. Very true. Or at least set up for what was going to be a horrible shot. Very true. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. I was going to say, Mike could have got a good roll out of that until it hit the nine. 
Now, see, one of the things that Mike can be doing, too, as well, is he can be walking around the table and looking at these different angles. And, again, when you get complacent with somebody, uh, you don't do things all the time the way they should be done because you don't take that person to be somebody that you need to do that with. And it's, no, that's not the case. A pull shot's a pull shot, and that's what they say, playing a person and not playing the table. Pulls pull. That's one of my my hardest things is to get over, quit playing that I'm playing the person. To, you know, focus yeah. more on playing. I'm playing on the table, but that's my hardest. That's one of my hardest things that I have. That I look at this. Oh, wow. That I need to overcome. Really, it's there's there's a little trick there. Is and I like how Halo is saying, play the robot here. Well, it sounds funny, but you've probably heard this before, but you can only think about one thing at a time. I can't ask you to think about ice cream and doing your laundry at the same time. If you're doing something, I can't ask you to solve a calculus problem. If you're, say, folding laundry, you can't, you'd have to be on autopilot on one of them. And neither, something would, would falter. Well, what happens when you have a routine? You don't have time to think about who you're playing. You don't have time to think about bad. And actually, you can put a, a, an area into your routine that says, if I'm thinking bad thoughts, I go back to this part and think about only the good parts. Because if you think about don't scratch, don't scratch, don't scratch, guess what you're going to do? Scratch. scratch. <laughs> You've programmed your mind. And that's what this is all about, is people, when they, they play that movie of the shot in their mind, how it looks and works and feels and even sounds, that's when greatness happens. Your mind knows all these tricks. They know what it looks like. Like this ball, you know where that three ball is going to stop by the how fast it's rolling. You know when a ball's going into a rail where it's going to come off just about... Your mind knows that even more infinitely than what you think it does. And what happens is when you start to get into that concentration mode and whenever you start playing routines, you put yourself into a space where you visualize the shot and feel it. Suddenly you don't have time to be scared of who you're playing. You're programming. And that's the beauty of this game is that you can tell a guy when he's not intimidated by anybody anymore because he's in the game and he's only thinking about the shot not who he's shooting against now he has this six ball it's going to go he has to look and see where it's going to there you go Chris look at that see pick a point exactly where you want to be now he can put a finite end to this shot on the cue ball Without it, it's an ambiguous shot. He can't even program himself because he hasn't picked a point to go hit. Or he was just bending down, getting ready to go ahead and fire it, and then then took a breath and regrouped. Sure. One of the biggest tricks in this game is a solid pre-shot routine that involves visualization and muscle memory of some sort. All right, let's see. He's walked around a little bit, taking a look at this eight ball. I'm going to predict that he's going to hit it fine. Oh, yes. I, think, well, uh, I don't like that, but I still think he's okay. He's got to let it get a away from him a little bit. But he gets this. Yeah, I'm in the back. Then, sure did. Well, I say right now uh, his confidence level is on the top. <laughs> of the list <laughs> right now. Uh, and he might could capitalize from this. Mm. Might make some mistake. Chris could, could go ahead and take it out. Just because he's got that he's got enough confidence behind himself to, to go ahead and do it. Because he's already on the hill. Now go one step further. Whenever you do a pre-shot routine, your first thousand times you won't be anywhere near what you're going to be when what your final episode is going to be, so to speak. But 
the first thing I thought that I was doing was I was making the game less fun. And then what happened is I realized how great fun it was to create art with using the pre-shot routine. So it does seem like it's taking the life out of the game, as you said, sucked the life out when you started trying to work on your game. But it'll bring it back. It's what gets you to the point where it's what you were looking for, and you just didn't know it. Well, he's, he's electing to push out, but this is a smart push out. I come to find sometimes the only way that I can really have fun and quit stressing over the game is just go ahead and start drinking. <laughs> <laughs> then, I don't care. <laughs> it's beer 30. <laughs> uh, it's 5 to 2. It's beer 30. Hey, it's 5 o'clock somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> But if I just start getting too frustrated or whatever because I done took it way done too serious, um, just go ahead and start drinking. And, hey, that serious will be out the door, and I'm back to having fun again. But also, you don't pay attention. You're actually sitting there running out, too. Sure. But don't sit there and get dog face drunk, either. Yeah. Okay. See what he just did? Remember I was saying he, you push to an area where you think you can make a shot that the other guy is going to not want to try. That's what he just did. Yep. And he, he's made this ball, a hanging ball. And I, I think he felt a, a lot more comfortable on that shot than Mike. And here we go. He might be running out for the win. Nice shot. And he's, oh, he's, and he's not going to like he's it. He's not going to like it. You can see from the look on his face that he's like, nope, that ain't in there. <laughs> Well, you can circle the table here, circle the wagons, but uh, now you got to visualize something. Now, this is a, a an interesting theory that I like to always pose to people. Uh, look at which side of the table has the most balls, and that's where you want to kind of keep everything. That improves your chances for traffic. There you go. He's not lambasting wow. this. He's trying nice to keep shot. everything on this side of the table. Nice Beautiful shot. shot. And he, he's hung this one up. Oh, wow. Well, all right, Chris. It's either now or never, so show me that you can do it or you can't. What would you try and do here? I'd have to go ahead and go forward going up. I wouldn't have done that. I would have gone, I'd have came on to the rail and came over. Uh-huh. I like, I like what he did here. He got a foot or two closer, a little bit straighter. Now he has a lot of control, and you know, the six is going to go in the same pocket as the five. Well, like I said, that's why I'm on the sideline. <laughs> well, I don't miss too many from here. I probably would have miss missed a couple. Of <laughs> 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 well, I admit that I miss a bunch every set. <laughs> <laughs> Except, the, the, of course, the mic's off at that point. There you go. <laughs> when I'm down there on that table, it's a whole new world. I think Chris is out. I think this is going to be it, guys. And Chris is not going to check on this. And, I, and like I said, I've seen guys just to get this uh, look oh, at him getting up he, get that get up and walk around there you go pick a point and this is this is what you know I'm saying players like Johnny might do is they might see 10 different things that can go wrong and look at this shot that he's just played that from settling beautiful. himself down that, look at that that was beautiful great shot even though he did go two rails he hit it he still played a smart shot there you go and there's your winner, Chris Fuller. Volmar. Fuller will be out of the tournament. He's knocked Mike Fuller out. He's won the set, 9-9, nine, nine, beating Mike Fuller. Folks, we want to thank you for showing up. We really appreciate it. You can catch all these videos on our YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash inside pull mag. Wanted to thank our sponsors, Kamui Tips for giving us that special for the subscriptions on Inside Pool and getting the vouchers for those tips out to our, our subscribers. And Bye, I've guys. Thank y'all. <laughs> I wanted to thank Fury Cues.
Millican Super Pro Cloth, QSite.com for all your billiard needs. And last but not least, I wanted to thank Terry Falk for showing up and commentating with me and uh, more or less commandeering my set during this entire uh, show. But <laughs> it's, been a a, it's been a pleasure. <laughs> We're gonna, we hope you're going to come back. I will. I'll be back here tomorrow. As soon as I'm done, I get my rear end kicked by uh, Mr. Bennett there. Uh, I'll be back up here. <laughs> Keep myself entertained. <laughs> well, I love it, folks. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and hang out, and uh, 